Know thyself, the journey to the center of yourself. All roads lead inside, time to turn inside out. For the kingdom of heaven is within. The kingdom of heaven is in the fifth dimension. You can only enter if you're on the right vibration. You cannot buy that vibration or be given it by technology or channeling. The vibration of the fifth dimension resonates on the frequency of oneness, of selfless love and of timelessness. It has no agenda. It's beyond duality. Oneness can only be found when you let go of duality or see through it. Beings on this frequency become one with and know the truth of life and become the answer to the question, Who am I? They know we are all one and there is no high and low, good and bad. In the fifth dimension there is only pure radiance, light and being. Their sole purpose is to connect you to your inner power and oneness with all that is. You will feel no intrusion when they are with you, for they want nothing from you, only to enlighten you and expand the wonder of truth, life and inner beauty in the universe. Until the state of oneness within and without is attained, heaven or the true fifth dimension cannot be experienced. You can go in and out of this state, and most of us do, although we may not realize this. We are naturally gravitating towards the state of oneness, as what we are beyond our physical form is already in this state, and our purpose is to bring it out into the universe through ourselves. The human form is the perfect vehicle for this. Our planet is ready to ascend. Our sun is sending us cosmic information. It's coming in in energy form to help speed up our realization, the realization of oneness and to wake us up to our true nature. And we have to be sensitive and centered enough to receive it. This is why we need to learn right meditation. The conditioning at the moment is so strong that it is becoming more and more obvious. This is exactly what we need to see through it and move beyond. Everything is coming to a head. It can be confusing as change is happening so fast. We must keep grounded as there are a lot of extraterrestrials aware of this situation and are trying to mislead us for their own advantage and to fulfill their own agendas. The True Work How to Keep Grounded Work on Knowing Yourself Never worship anything outside of yourself. Your focus must go in to you. Never give your energy and power to those who say they can do it for you. If you do this, you will end up tired and confused and could be tricked. This weary tiredness is the effect of searching outside of yourself for that which lies within. Fear and reward are the false prophets, the dangling of the carrot. All that we need we have inside us. We do not need saving from ourselves. We need to be ourselves. Love comes from inside us. It shines out of our being like a sun. And how beautiful is our sun. And how it feeds us knowledge and wisdom. And shines a true light to all equally. Love is universal. It embraces all and loves all. There is no hierarchy in love or God. Let those who create spiritual hierarchies build their own mental prisons and let their prisoners be the blind and the ignorant or those who are not ready to work on finding their own inner truth. But respect their journey, 
for all is just in truth and everyone is doing their best and all is a valuable experience to the evolving human who chooses to take this path of worship. Be aware of those who excite you and overwhelm you with promises, bright lights and heightened feelings, for they bring love with conditions. Know that humanity is more powerful than we can imagine, and I'm not talking about material power, nor are all of us destined to be worshippers or captives of other races posing as gods and saints, for most of us have an inner calling for something far greater. Be still, be calm, be thyself, be thy humble bliss, be thy center, remember who you are beyond this form, be thy blessed earth. Be thy internal sun, be thy internal solar system, be thy internal universe, be thy I, for I am is the key, the I am consciousness. Be the one who pulls the sword from the stone, and with its blade sharpened by the truth, Slay the dragon of greed and control, of ignorance and false knowledge, of those who want to control by fear, and those who want to control by promises of salvation. The one who holds the sword of truth slashes from left to right, from up to down, from light to dark, while staying in the middle position, in the center. Be aware of those who only promote the good, and be aware of those who only promote the bad, and be aware of the bird with only one wing. Intelligence and wisdom only know eternal flight, for they fly above and see all as one, and in the seeing are free and know their direction. Know you are love that your inner being loves you unconditionally. Are you not the way, the truth, and the light? Your light has been shining forever, and it shines on many things along the way, and many lives. And only you know your truth, and your truth is always simple. For you say, I am, then truth is with you. I am. You are the god of your own inner universe. You have entered this universe, but you are still your own universe. Universes merge. Your mind has created a world that covers your truth. See through this world. Awake. It's time to take the throne. You are glorious. Be thyself. Look for the signs that point inward. They will not lead you astray. Let's celebrate our power and our glory. We are human beings. Our hidden knowledge must be revealed. The knowledge that we are powerful beings of true love and truth. <laughs>